As the Spurs gear up for Orlando to resume the NBA's regular season, point guard DeJounte Murray is speaking out on the season and racism in America. Murray told Yahoo Sports Chris Haynes that he didn't know if they were going to play again this season and that he didn't really understand the coronavirus until some people he knows caught it. Now, the two also talked about police brutality and the death of George Floyd that sparked outrage across the United States and around the world. And Murray opened up on his own personal experiences with racism and cops. It's sad, but it's been happening. Like, mm -hmm. even, you know, on the streets. I know cricket cops from, from where I'm from that killed themselves because they were so cricket and taking stuff from us, beating up on us, and and they got exposed. And now it's like you about to go to jail and be on the front line where all yeah. these dudes you used to rob and yeah, wait for you here. Yeah. And they kill themselves. Like mm -hmm. so it's been it's been it's been happening. It's been happening. You know, and now it's just it's being recorded now. Free agent center Tyler Zeller signed with the Spurs for the remainder of the season. The team announced via email he'll wear number 40. Zeller is 30 years old and a six-year NBA veteran. The Spurs will not have LaMarcus Aldridge for the rest of the season because he underwent surgery on his right shoulder earlier this month, so the team has a huge hole to fill in the front court. Wagner High School grade and Stanford star guard Kiana Williams has been in the San Antonio area, area since early March, and she said she's glad to be home. Yeah, she loves Stanford and playing ball for the Cardinal, but said she's a Texas girl heart and enjoys being back. We caught up with Kiana at Alamo City All-Star Sports Plex off of 1604 in Universal City, where she often plays ball alongside some of the best in the area. Kiana has seen a lot of cool things while playing ball in California and traveling the country. So we asked her about some of the famous people that she's crossed paths with. One time the Warriors came to Stanford, they were practicing and uh, literally KD and uh, when KD was playing with the Warriors and uh, Curry, they were literally like, right there shooting and working out uh, and I was just in awe just watching them they the, like they wouldn't miss so I was extremely hum uh, humbling and Steve Kerr uh, came and talked to us okay. um, Condoleezza Rice she comes to our games and stuff and, and talks to us so Stanford is, a, is an incredible place and you never know who you're gonna bump into We'll have much more with Kiana Williams in the upcoming days, including her game-winning shot at Colorado back in February. Pro Football Coverage, powered by Davis Law Firm. The upcoming Pro Football Hall of Fame game between the Dallas Cowboys and Pittsburgh Steelers has been called off and the enshrinement ceremony postponed, according to reports. The August 6th exhibition game between the boys and Steelers is the first on-the-field event the league has canceled during the coronavirus pandemic. So if I ever go to Stanford, I want to bump into Keanu Williams. I know, right? <laughs> How cool is that? That'd be pretty sweet. Look yeah, she, she's having herself a good uh, three seasons out there. She's getting ready for her senior campaign. It'll be fun. All right, Larry, thanks a lot. Hey, you know, Jen is working from home again today. And SA Live has a fun-filled show today. They meet up with superheroes. Coming up on SA Live, we power up with some superhero action. I catch up with the cast behind the popular superhero show, Doom Patrol. We'll find out what makes these crime fighters tick and what their superhero power would be in real life. Hold the alcohol, it's a refreshing Thirsty Thursday, serving up new drinks from local coffee shop, Shotgun House Coffee Roasters. Mmm, looks refreshing. And if that isn't enough liquid to get you hydrated today, we have an all new Elder Eats for you. David Elder is mixing things up with some healthy shakes. No guilt required. Plus, if you're looking for something new to watch, don't worry, we have a list of trending movies and shows perfect to binge right now as a lot of us are staying home. And if you could have any superhero power, what would that be? We want to know. Tag us at SA Live Kesa on Facebook and Twitter, and we want to know exactly what that would be. That and much more are coming up today on SA Live Home Edition. <laughs> Never miss a story. Watch live or when you want. San Antonio's latest news and weather. Streaming free on KSAT TV. Right now on KSAT.com, the San Antonio Botanical Garden is trying to get kids active by hosting a couple of summer camps on Monday. A chef cooking camp and an art and nature camp will begin. Ooh, the chef cooking camp is virtual. Parents can pick up a box of ingredients before the class and the art and nature camp will be done in person for half days. You can find all the information you need to know to participate right there on KSET.com.
I mean, why not? Something else to do with these kids, right? Exactly. Yeah. All right, Katie Blake is tracking some squishy clouds out there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, if you were with us in the first half hour, I affectionately referred to our little little showers out there as a little squish. Where'd it go? I think they it got squished. squashed down by Lytle there. <laughs> Is that it? Not as impressive on radar now, unfortunately. Oh. But we will have the potential this afternoon for some more downpours out there. We've got some nice heavy rain popping up near Hallettsville, so that will kind of be the nature of the rain this afternoon. Pop up, you may get some heavy rain, maybe a flash of lightning as we get into the heat of the day this afternoon as well. But tomorrow does look like the best day for some scattered showers and storms and that should keep us a few degrees cooler. I use that cooler term pretty loosely 88 tomorrow and then we'll be back in the 90s this weekend with an off chance of a shower each afternoon. A oh. nice cool down tomorrow 88. <laughs> Whew. A good shot to start the weekend with a little rain. Yeah, like I that. would not mind that. And speaking of shots, Today is Thirsty Thursday on <laughs> SA Live. So there you go. You would know that? <laughs> keeping track? That's what Jen had a second ago. She was just talking about it. So. Well, that is all the show we have for now here at, from K here at KSAT 12. Thank you for joining us. Thirsty Thursday on SA Live starts right now. It's a Thirsty Thursday today, and we're giving you a shot of energy from a local coffee shop in Southtown. You don't have to travel far for a big adventure. Take a short trip to the backyard for some family fun. Plus, cool off from the summer heat and enjoy the shake that won't come away. Elder East offers up some healthy drinks. That's all today on as we love. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from the KSET 12 studios. This is SA Live. Well, hello and happy Thursday. We have a full day. Good afternoon. I'm Jen Tobias Dresky filling in for Mike and Fiona. They're both off today. And, you know, according to nationaltoday.com, it's National Work From Home Day. So how fitting is this? We're doing it from home today. And it's also a thirsty Thursday as well. So we're setting aside those adult beverages for today and taking you to a local coffee shop on South Lotus Street that just reopened for business. And they have added a refreshing new drink to the menu that you'll definitely want to try. <laughs> I started roasting coffee kind of just as a hobby. Um, I, I've been drinking coffee since I was 18, worked at Starbucks, and I would go to coffee shops and, and uh, eventually realized it would probably save me some money if I learned how to roast coffee. Uh, so when I moved to San Antonio, I, I bought a little roaster and started roasting on the front porch of our shotgun house, uh, which is where it gets the name. And it's so smoky and creates a lot of mess, and we realized if we wanted to do this full time, we needed to get a legitimate roasting space, which is what encouraged us to, to rent the Warehouse 5 space on, on the west side and we've been roasting our coffee over there. We have our roaster on display. It's a San Franciscan roaster, uh, one of the best in the industry, actually, and uh, they make them in, in Nevada, and you can come get a cup of coffee and actually see that in action about twice a week. And then we, uh, about a year later, opened up this uh, more of a retail-type shop uh, in Southtown. So this location in particular uh, opened up about a year ago, and then we had to close down about eight months in because of, obviously, everything that happened with COVID. This one is unique in that it's uh, in Southtown, very popular area. It's on the ground floor of the 1010 apartment complex uh, right at South Floors and Gunther Street, so it's walking distance to the river. We've just created more of a, a retail, walkable, to-go type space where you can come grab uh, a honey coconut latte or a nice dirty horchata or a retail bag or one of our new coffee mugs or a shirt. Our ice dirty horchata is a are been one of our signature drinks from day one. We make a house-made horchata with, made with rice milk, brown rice, uh, vanilla, cinnamon. We steep that all overnight, and then we blend it and puree it, run it through a sieve the next day to make our horchata, and then that's over ice with a shot of espresso on top. So it's really nice vanilla, cinnamon, sweet. With a shot of espresso, it's gonna wake you right up. One of our most popular things we've had since day one. And then our iced honey coconut latte is uh, something we introduced last summer. Every season we try to come up with a new seasonal beverage, um, and one of our baristas, you know, we let them get creative and come up with their own drinks, and uh, this one was just a hit from day one. It's made with local Texas honey, and uh, a coconut extract and we make that into a, a really flavorful syrup and uh, that's served over ice and a lot of people get it with oat milk and it's very very good and then our newest offering is going to be the uh, bloody topo and it's essentially like uh, the idea came from like a bloody beer your traditional like san antonio bloody beer uh, we make our own michelada mix 
where it's gonna have Worcestershire sauce, fresh squeezed lemon juice, uh, chamoy, fresh ground black pepper, and um, a lot of hot sauce, a lot of Tabasco and some other hot sauces are in there. Um, makes for a very spicy, refreshing drink. You pour some of that over ice, and then you fill it with Topo Chico to the top. And then just like a bloody beer, we'll give you the rest of your Topo Chico so you can dilute it however you'd like as you're drinking your beverage. But uh, very spicy, very refreshing. Um, and that's our newest drink that was just released, non-coffee related. We just wanted to have a nice refresher, kind of a fun drink for people. We also carry a lot of locally curated uh, items um, all the way from Wildflower Caramel Company to Wild Way Grain Free Granola. We have um, Gourmet Texas Pasta. You can find them at the Pearl Farmers Market. R.B. Bagley and Sons Pecans. We have Jung Provisions Candles, who's a locally uh, local candle maker here in town. Con Olio uh, Ultra Premium Olive Oils, which is in Austin, Texas. Two Hives Honey, uh, which is also in Austin, Texas. Uh, and then Tio Pilon's Salsitas. Uh, we have three of their varieties, which is a very popular uh, salsa company that just got into Central Market and that's made right here in San Antonio. So, yeah, we just try to carry, you know, fun products from other small businesses because that's what we are. All right. Well, our, our director tells us that the bloody topo tastes just like a michelada, but instead of the beer, you've got the topo. Sounds good and refreshing to me. For more information on Shotgun House Coffee Roasters, just go over to salive.com. Click the As Seen on SA Live tab. Well, with everything going on in the world right now, I think we all could use a superhero. I got to meet the superheroes of HBO Max Doom Patrol and find out the secret identities of the actors from the show. You know Diane Guerrero from Orange is the New Black and Jane the Virgin. And you know Javan Wade from The Purge. I caught up with them earlier this week as they count down to the big premiere tonight. A piece, a piece. You think I'm here to fight crime with you? Yes! Oh, oh. yeah. How does the writing here relate to the real world? I think that's exactly what makes the writing stand out. The fact that it relates to the real world. We're dealing with characters, although we talk about superheroes and it being a superhero show, we're dealing with people. We're dealing with people at the forefront. And I give uh, Vic, I put Vic forward as a perfect example for how our show deals with that, with Vic Stone being Cyborg and Cyborg being his superhero uh, persona, if you will. Um, but Vic Stone being the human behind that. And we deal with Vic Stone. We really get to dive into character and really explore these traumas and um, for Vic, his PTSD. I think that season two um, is going to explore just a little uh, deeper into what season one was. We explore trauma, we explore PTSD, mental illness, LGBTQ acceptance, we deal with body image, basically what we all deal with on a daily basis. Um, so yeah. I think it's going to be very relevant and, um, and, and quite cathartic for a lot of us watching. Maybe it is time for a change. Diane, what's the most challenging part about playing Crazy Jane? Um, probably just being in, in a state of conflict. You know, there's, um, there's, it's not just one emotion that she's dealing with. Um, there's just so many, um, and and going through different persona to different persona, um, and and really experiencing that push and pull can can be quite challenging and exhausting for a person. Um, but but the beautiful part of it is that um, that the audience gets to see um, all of these feelings in which sometimes are hidden by characters or um, too difficult to deal with. And Diane, your brother is a big DC fan, I hear. Yeah, my brother was a big DC fan. Um, it's, it's he like ate it all up, and and I, I would as a kid, you know, I try to read his comic books, and he would take them away from me. And I said, you know, well, one day I'm gonna be playing one of these characters, and you'll see. Uh, but he's 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 so incredibly proud of me, and I remember him calling me on the phone and being like, Diane, you're an actual superhero. Like I cannot believe this. Um, so it's been really great for the family. I have some fun questions for both of you. If you could have one superpower in real life. What would that be? Um, I would love the superpower of teleportation. I think that, uh, you know, time, especially this pandemic has really proved to me that um, you, you just can't, you just can't trust, you know, 
just only being able to get across the world via flying because when that shuts down how are you going to get to see your family i'm from london but i live in la and so if i was able to teleport i'd be able to go back and forth and see my family and friends and i think that's the only superpower in which i feel like i could actually deal with on a day-to-day -day basis without you know reading someone's mind for me i don't want to know what everyone's thinking so teleportation <laughs> for me for sure i want to know exactly what people are thinking so definitely mind reading <laughs> i want to be able to zap i want to be able to zap right into your brain that's exactly what i want to do all right well we have to talk food because here in san antonio we love our food what is your go-to superfood Oh, um, for me, it would actually be blueberries. Um, I love blueberries. I'm, I am I eat blueberries like candy, um, which is probably a good thing, but I can't help. But yeah, when I go shopping, I get like six, seven uh, portions of blueberries and I just sit like and just eat them as if they're like chips. I can't resist pizza, okay? I see, I am, I am, I am an American. I. See, J Javan, Javan, only a British person would say that they had to snack on blueberries. Okay, <laughs> I want, I want pizza at all times, and when it comes out on set, I cannot resist. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I love making pizza too. <laughs> Ain't nobody stopping this party. Javan, I know you haven't been to San Antonio, but Diane, you have. What's your favorite thing about visiting the Alamo City? Um, uh, definitely um, Mexican food. Oh yeah. So that's what I like. All right, anything else you want to say to your loyal fans that are getting ready and pumped for season two tonight? Yeah, just to, just to say thank you for everyone that's, that's watched season two, uh, season one already, and um, for supporting our show. And yeah, we can't wait for you guys to see season two. And we're giving you free <laughs> episodes. Uh, yeah, Dan Guerrero is phenomenal in it. <laughs> Great, I really look forward to seeing it. Thank you guys. They were so much fun. Gosh, I love those interviews. Yes, be sure to catch the new season of Doom Patrol tonight. HBO Max, SALive.com. Click that As Seen on SA Live tab for more on that. You know, it's so cool to get a look inside that superhero world. Got me wondering and thinking, wait, I think I have some superheroes in my room right now, too. Yes, they're here. But what superhero power would I have, right? If I was a superhero, I think I'd slow time down, right, guys? It's pretty hard working from home <laughs> with the kids here. All right, guys. All right, y'all go fight some crime. Okay, bye. Love y'all. We want to know if you could have any superhero power, be a superhero yourself. What would that be? Tag us at SA Live KSAT on Facebook or Twitter, and we may share your answers a little later in the show. That's always a fun thing to think about. Now, if you can't catch Doom Patrol, do not worry. We put together a nice list for you today of what to watch. We're all sitting at home a little bit more, right? Keeping that social distance. So now's a good time to binge watch. So first up for you, we have Just Mercy. This is a powerful and thought-provoking film based on the true story of Brian Stevenson and Walter McMillan. World-renowned world -renowned civil rights lawyer Brian Stevenson plays Michael B. Jordan, known for Creed and Black Panther. He works to free the wrong, wrongly condemned death row prisoner, Mr. McMillan, played by Jamie Foxx. This 2019 movie has now been made available to stream for free on Amazon Prime, YouTube, and Google Play. Next... If you want a fun game show to take your mind off the world around us right now, then you, we have the show for you. Don't is a comedy game show created by actor Ryan Reynolds, known for films like Deadpool and The Proposal, and it's hosted by actor Adam Scott from Parks and Recreation. The show puts families and friends into strange challenges. Then Ryan Reynolds voices the all-knowing, shadowy narrator that riffs off the show in an almost Deadpool-like manner. The show premieres on ABC, and you can catch it also on Hulu. And if you like comedies, then you may be interested in this one. Famous comedy director Judd Apatow released the latest film, The King of St Staten Island, for on-demand purchase. The film was set to be a comedic hit in theaters, but was made available online when theaters closed nationwide. The movie follows Scott, who has become a case of arrested development since the death of his father, a firefighter. Scott spends his days doing drugs and dreaming of becoming a tattoo artist until events force him to grapple with his grief and take steps forward in life. The film, loosely based on Saturday Night Live star Pete Davidson's real life when his father died as a firefighter during the 9-11 terrorist attacks. 
Well, this one is perfect for family. Into the Unknown, making Frozen 2. This is a six-part documentary series about the year leading up to the premiere of Frozen 2. The filmmakers, artists, songwriters, and actors give you a behind-the-scenes look at the hard work that went into creating the highly anticipated sequel to Frozen. All episodes will be streaming June 26 on Disney+. Plus. All right, another one for the family that was recently released to Disney Plus are Artemis Fowl, based on the beloved book series. The film follows 12-year-old Artemis Fowl, a young criminal prodigy who finds himself in an epic battle against a race of powerful underground fairies who may be behind his father's disappearance. The film is rated PG. Ooh, all right, that is a lot of content. I wonder what I should start with. I don't know, that's a lot. I hope we helped you out. But hey, if you need this list again, essaylive.com. Just click as seen on Essay Live tab. All right, still ahead on Essay Live. Around 1.30, we have a brand new Elder Eats that takes us on a trip for some healthy summer shakes. No guilt required. You know, all of these uh, water bottle stuff you might throw out, how about mm -hmm. turning it into a fun little craft and game that the whole family can play? Yes, we are gonna show you some inexpensive and fun ways to pull that off. I like this game. It's a great idea. It's a great idea. Well, if you're spending more time at home and you want to try to keep the kids busy and maybe add some more fun to family game night, how about this? Yes, what you can do is use nice sauce, by the way, here, catch, is use some of the stuff that you may actually throw away, turn it into some fun little games you can either play outside or inside, and half the fun is going to be constructing all of these crafts. And the crafting queen herself, the aficionado of activities. Adina Anderson <laughs> from Creative Lifestyles with Adina shows us a few fun games. Well, nowadays everybody has a whole bunch of these, the Amazon boxes, <laughs> and instead of just, you know, throwing them out or collecting them somewhere else, um, what'd you do with this one, Adina? Well, this is a fun game you can play in the backyard. You just cut some holes in there, Paint it, it's really simple. You just use your acrylic paint. I like the decor, okay. but you can use any acrylic paint that you have. Yeah. And then you're, you're just gonna kind of outline it. So this is kind of a golf game that you can play okay. in the backyard. Or if it's bad outside, you could even play this inside if you have the little plastic ones, cause you won't break anything with those. Mm -hmm. And then just let the kids have fun with this, right? But I think this is something the adults would like to do too. <laughs> These acrylic paints are basically good for anything. For Cardboard, anything. plastic, yeah. Wood, whatever you metal, may be, however, whatever your craft whatever. is. That's the box that This is we... what we finish off with, right. so we'll see how good of a putter you are. Woo! Ten, Ten points. Okay, I like that. <laughs> okay, this next one's really fun. You wanna know why? Because you can eat it Yay! after you make it. <laughs> yes, and we're gonna use something that you usually put ice cream in, mm -hmm. but that's gonna melt in this heat, right? So True. why not make something fun with it? <laughs> I love how you use Starburst. I know. Well, I used to do a lot of golf tournaments and things, and that was the one treat I would give out because they don't melt in the sun for some reason. So it was a really easy one that we know won't melt. <laughs> All right, so what do we need? Okay, so you want to have your ice cream cones, and you could use any kind you want, and then you want your chocolate. So you could use regular chocolate or white chocolate. I have white chocolate here. And if you don't have the melting pot, the Wilton melting pot, you can pop it in the microwave or do a double broiler, however you want. And then you just kind of dip it in there, get it all covered, and then just use whatever sprinkles you have. It doesn't have to be anything spectacular. It could be any holiday, right? Right. <laughs> Summer. And then all you're going to do is just roll it in here once you get it covered. Uh, ha, 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 ha. The fun part, right? Uh, ha, ha, and then ha, ha. really fill it with whatever candy. Look how simple that is. Oh my gosh, and it looks so yummy. Right? Yum. <laughs> oh, and the chocolate's so warm. Oh, yes. That's bonus. <laughs> If you're outside in the summertime, lots and lots of water, and don't throw the bottles away. You can either refill them or use them for another. You know, craft. I don't throw anything away. No, it's so bad. Cans, either. bottles, whatever. <laughs> so what are we doing with the empties? So this is a fun little bowling game you can play outside or even inside yeah. because it's plastic. And you want to take the little label off there of your water bottle. So just okay. rip that off. And then 
you're gonna use the acrylic paint again. So you're gonna put about one or two coats on and it dries pretty quick, especially in the heat like this. It'll probably already start drying by the time you're getting one done there. Oh, okay. And then I just took the red and put it at the top so it looks like bowling pins. So mm -hmm. you're gonna paint the top of it and paint the whole thing. Sure. And I put rocks in the bottom just to kind of hold them up. Apparently it's a little windier today, but. <laughs> well, you don't want too much because you want to be able to have it to knock tip them down. That's right, bit, yes. Not <laughs> enough, so. Okay, so that would dry and you said and just you a wiffle ball? Up, yep, and I just used a wiffle ball or you, whatever you have around the house. Oh, hey, I got it. <laughs> Thank you to the wind. And that's the benefit of bowling with water bottles outside. A special thank you to Aunt Sarah Winton Chevrolet for, for sponsoring our big adventures every month. Check out their website, AntSarahChev.com. Still ahead on SA Live, we have a thirst quenching Elder Eats bringing you healthy shakes. And next up, dreaming of a new home? Dream no more. The Parade of Homes has listings available today. Hey guys, it's April Aunt Sarah from Aunt Sarah Wynn Chevrolet. Thanks for joining us on this month's SA Live Big Adventure. Make sure to watch each month as the SA Live team takes you to new places all over South Texas. And don't forget, and Sirwin Chevrolet can get you on your next big adventure too. Just stop by or visit AntSiraChev.com. Elevated modern architecture and design. That's what you'll find at 9706 Midsummer Place off Scenic Loop in the 2020 Parade of Homes. It's going on through June 28th, brought to you by the Greater San Antonio Builders Association. And Adam Wilson, owner of Adam Wilson Custom Homes, joins us this afternoon to tell us all about this breathtaking parade of homes, your entry. You were the 2019 Texas Custom Home Builder of the Year by the Texas Association of Builders. I assume this is the reason why. This is exactly right. What we do is truly unique and, and it's uh, enjoyed by a lot of people. How do you describe this home? Uh, you know, like you said, elevated modern. Um, it's a very contemporary style uh, architecture. Um, we, we like to use a lot of different materials that contrast. As you can see, we've got you know the wood paneling in front of the kitchen window. Um, we've got structural steel construction framing, uh, metal wall panels, as well as stucco. What are some of the hottest trends in your parade home? As you walk in the front door, you'll see a floating steel staircase with a walnut screen wall. Um, it's, it's really breathtaking with the glass railing and the iron uh, structure. Um, as you walk around the corner, you'll come into a European style kitchen. Um, with a lot of uh, neat uh, accessories that allow the cabinet doors to open automatically and close automatically. Uh, the, the refrigerator uh, blends in with the cabinets because we've got uh, cabinet panels. Uh, the, the top of the line, state of the art appliance package that we have in there and you'll, you'll see it in the photos. One of, one of the coolest things that we've done in this parade is, is our transparent uh, panel on the pool. So it looks as if you're in an aquarium. Um, it's very, very unique, and, and I've never seen it in San Antonio, Texas. Well, joining us now, as always, is Christy Sutterfield, who is the Executive Vice President of the Greater San Antonio Builders Association. Just a couple of days left. You gotta come Countdown. see this house especially. <laughs> I know. And the parade is only here for nine days, so we're into the heart of it. And Adam Wilson has the most luxurious contemporary home on the market today, although it's sold. But home buyers and prospects should come and see this house. It's an award-winning house. If you're in the market to buy, if you're in the market just to go, oh, that looks neat, or just to go, wow. Exactly, right? and furnishings too. Yeah. You can come and get some of the hottest design trends that these designers, these interior designers and furniture companies have to offer. Great event like this, you gotta have great sponsors, right? I do, and you know, it's it's really exciting. Um, CPS Energy is our presenting partner, and you know, CPS Energy, they are very near and dear to my heart, and they're one of the top energy companies in the nation, and they contribute in so many ways to our community. But Hollywood Crawford Garage Doors and Openers did the garage doors in this Adam Wilson home, and they're very contemporary, but they're subtle, but classy. And then we have MG Building Materials. They play a big part in our association. And when you come to the parade, you're gonna to get to see new Lincolns and Lexuses, Mazdas, Volkswagens, because the North Park family of dealers is a partner of ours as well. 
everything you would need. You know, everything. New car, new, new house, new furniture. You can find it here. The 2020 Parade of Homes is presented in partnership with CPS Energy, Hollywood Crawford Garage Doors and Openers, and MG Building Materials. It runs through June 28th from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. daily. Each of the parade homes are sanitized and have social distancing practices in place. For more information, visit sabuilders.com, and you can find more on this parade home at adamwilsonhomes.com. Next up, if you're trying to keep that summer body looking good, we have something to cool you off. Elder Eats has a, some healthy sips for you coming up next. Eleven oh three Nutrition is a new healthy shake and tea shop in Cibolo, Texas. Welcome to Freedom Nutrition. They're blending up all kinds of deliciously sweet shakes using vitamin and mineral supplements, like their banana pudding shake. <laughs> made with real bananas. You see the little wafer on top. You got some graham cracker action in there. It's exactly what you would expect for a banana pudding, right? But then it also has, like they said, those healthy alternatives that are in there that makes it more than just a milkshake or something like that you'd get. You gotta eat the cookie first. All right, here we go. Oh yeah. Right off the top. Tastes just like banana, like you want it to. Really good flavors in there. Nice texture as well. The cookie on top really adds that extra layer, that extra dimension or depth that you want to it. And then the cream on top, it just makes it that much sweeter, that much more delicious. The shop opened recently to provide Cibolo with delicious nutrition-packed shake and smoothie alternatives for athletes and those looking to live a healthier lifestyle. You want to get the community healthy. Everyone is working out these days. They want to get on a fitness program, a nutrition program. So we're here to help you with any kind of goals, make you feel stronger, healthier. Um, we also will encourage you with one of our nutrition plans, get you on our scale and you can see your results. Don't feel like going inside? No worries, they got you covered. Their drive through will get you in and out of there in no time. We have a curbside. All you have to do is call ahead or text and we'll have your order ready for you. Also on the menu, green tea based energy teas with an assortment of flavors like their watermelon crawler and wonder woman a tangy fruity blend and come out here look to your left you're going to see all the different tea options that they have this one right here is the watermelon crawler it has all different kinds of nutritional items that get put into there so when you drink it you're getting some healthy stuff but you're also going to be getting a lot of flavor they use some stevia which is like a sugar-free based sweetener so i'm gonna give it a try here It's fantastic. It tastes just like watermelons. It's like, it's actually like hyper watermelon. It's like intense, juicy watermelon flavor. That is really good. So if you're looking for something to kick it up, you gotta get some energy. They got little boosters and stuff that you can add in there as well. That's good. 1103 Nutrition makes it easy to engage in a healthy lifestyle. Their shakes and teas taste delicious and the team is welcoming and encourages customers to be their best. Our 1103 slogan is where encouragement and results meet. So we wanna encourage you to get the results that you're looking for. To get more pictures, videos, and information on restaurants around Texas, just follow me on Instagram at Elder Eats. Keep eating San Antonio and for SA Live, I'm David Elder. Next on the show, don't know what to do with your car? Well then, it's time to sell it online. Stay with us. Tell us why you wear a mask. Maybe it's for someone special in your life or because you care about our community and want to help reduce the spread of COVID-19. Here's how it works. Take a selfie in your mask and share it on social media. Include why you wear a mask. Use the hashtag why I wear a mask essay and click on the hashtag to learn why other people do too. We look forward to seeing why you wear a mask, San Antonio. Well, looking to sell or trade your car soon? There's a better way to sell your car in San Antonio, and it was built for your convenience. Phil Candera, owner of CarZeus, joins us this afternoon to tell us all about it. Good afternoon, how are you? Good, doing well, how are you, Mike? Doing very well, thank you. Okay, so what is CarZeus and what led you to create it? 
So um, I really, I spent enough time in, in the retail automotive industry and, uh, you know, learning a lot of the ins and outs and uh, what, what really needed improvement. And uh, uh, by far, I can tell you that, that trading or selling a vehicle uh, was by far one of the most stressful times for people. Um, you know, they either had to deal with uh, long hours or uh, waiting at a car dealership uh, uh, or even just scary uh, private party sales uh, in situations and a lot of times they, they just kind of ended in wasted time. So how is this different from the dealership experience? Yeah, so um, with, with us, not only is it just um, not having a long waiting period, um, but we also give people the ability to upload the information on their vehicle online uh, in a very easy to use website. They could do it on their uh, uh, laptop, uh, uh, desktop, uh, tablet or, or mobile device. Uh, cell phone and uh, we asked the questions that we need to know to give a preliminary offer all via text message so you don't even have to talk to us if you don't want to <laughs> um, but uh, we find that it's easy for people to grab information that way and if they'd like to proceed um, we actually uh, save folks a lot of time by offering to even go to you in San Antonio and I bet you can get better deals if you're looking to trade your vehicle in, right? Well, on the contrary, Mike. So if you're looking at trading in, our recommendation in our vast experience in the automotive industry is you technically want to keep the deals separate. Uh, when you walk into a car dealership with a trade-in, uh, you're actually giving away your leverage. So um, in, in this case, you would be uh, selling a vehicle to us to walk into a dealership with your cash. Your cash is your leverage. And so uh, we, we like to recommend and suggest to folks that keeping the deal separate is the better option for you to go in and negotiate for a much better price on your next car. Very interesting point. Okay, and I assume you're making it very safe and easy for people who want to sell their cars. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you think about it, you know, the day and age that we're in, of course, online uploading, that only takes a few minutes. Text messaging with somebody eventually will lead to a phone call and eventually will lead to uh, a very quick 15-minute inspection. It can be done here at our offices on uh, 410 Advanced Jackson. Um, or, again, we can go to you in San Antonio. Uh, no contact uh, uh, pickup service and paperwork service. It's all very simple. Okay, well, if you're uh, in the market to sell your car, looking potentially traded in, CarZeus sounds like it, it's going to be for you. Just head on over to the website, CarZeus.com, and it will give you a quote within minutes. Phil, nice chatting with you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mike. Up next on the show, men, take back your health. Male Medical Group has treatments that will have you feeling like your old self again. Well, guys, your lack of motivation and energy could be more than just the old quarantine blues. 23 million men feel the same way, but they don't have to let their health issues get the best of them. Male Medical Group is turning back the clock every day for men here in San Antonio. Marco Zambrano is one of the group's lead patient counselors. Good afternoon, Marco. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. It's good to be on the show again. Thanks for having me. Sure, sure. So what kind of issues do you help guys out with? Um, well, we do hormone therapy here um, and also... Uh, you know, anything that has to do with aesthetics as well, but mostly hormone therapy. Um, I mean, if you're suffering from low libido, we got a lot of calls from patients um, losing strength. You know, they're gaining that COVID weight that, you know, everyone's gaining right now. Um, trouble sleeping, you know, things like that um, that have to do with, with hormones. Um, those are, those are the, the, the main things really that people are really worried about right now and just not feeling like they used to feel, um, you know, when they're a little bit younger. And, you know, you really don't have to feel like that. You can actually feel like you used to feel. It's just a, it's just an imbalance or, or lack thereof, basically, of hormones. Low T is something we hear a lot about. Can you, how can testosterone, testosterone replacement therapy help? You know, you're, you're missing testosterone here and there. We replace it here and there. I mean, it's basically, you know, putting you back up to where you were before. We look for something called um, homeostasis in the body. You know, homeostasis means that everything in the body is right. You know, you don't have any vitamin deficiencies. You don't have any hormone deficiencies. Everything is, is good. You know, everything is good in the neighborhood. You know, that's where we're supposed to be. And that's when we feel our best. So is this covered by insurance? It is covered by insurance. Um, most insurances we take. So, yes, if, you're, if that's something that's holding a, a few of you guys back, you know, come on in. We'll, we'll see what we can do for you. Uh, we do take most insurances, though. 
Okay, so what do you say to guys that aren't sure if they want to reach out? Because, you know, most guys, they wouldn't want to admit, and nothing's wrong, I'm fine, I'm fine. What do you say of to them? Of course. <laughs> I would say this. I'd say, I'll say, you've seen this on TV, you've seen this on the radio, you know, don't ignore, don't ignore what your body's telling you, you know? Get up there, move, move and, and get up and get around and do what your body's telling you to do. You know, your body's telling you, hey man, I don't want to move around, I don't want to do nothing, and you're just gonna you know, sit there and it's gonna get worse and worse as you go on. So, you know, we're just waiting for you to come on in and do what your body's telling you to do. You know, get get it back, basically. That's our that's what I've been saying lately to everybody. You know, get it back. Get back what you what you don't have anymore. You know, that way you feel, you know, great. I feel great. <laughs> and, so. and you've also got a special right now for the first 10 people to call or text. What do they get? The blood work for $39. And also um, they get a gift card as well, I believe, for $100. So basically, and that means that you get $100 off any kind of treatment that you would, just, that you would start here in the clinic. Okay, so the initial lab work, how long does that usually take? Oh gosh, it takes about 20 minutes to get the, the testosterone um, results back and then you're, you're in and out pretty quickly, but we do take our time and if you have questions or anything like that, you know, we will answer any questions and, and uh, you know, there's a lot of other things involved and a lot of other questions that people have for us. We do wear our masks here and everything's clean. Uh, after every patient we see, we actually wipe down the room and, um, and make sure that it's all dried up, you know, when they go in there and everything. So we're taking a lot of, a lot of measures for that. Um, social distancing, of course, is a big deal here too. And we're just trying to make sure that we keep everything safe and everybody safe. Where are you located? We're located off of, um, right past Bitters, off of uh, 281 and oh. Winding Way. So it's, uh, it's, it's right, I mean, you can't miss it. It's right by the Big Bjorns building back there. Okay, well, once again, the first 10 people to call or text will get a consultation with a medical provider and lab work to test their levels for just $39. All of that usually costs around $300. They're also gonna throw in a $100 gift card to use toward their services. The number to call is 210-361-1203. And for more information, visit mailmedicalgroup.com. Marco, thanks very much. Good chatting with you. Thank you so much, you too. Tomorrow on SA Live, the only thing that pops more than these colors is the flavor. We visit a West Side bakery where all are welcome and find out how they get six colors into one cheesecake. Plus, they're the best part of working from home, why having your dogs by your side while you work is good for you and for your pup. That and more tomorrow at one o'clock right here on SA Live. Earlier, we asked you if you could have any superhero power, what would it be? Sarah says, a healing superpower. Yes, I agree, that would be a good one. John says, I would love to walk around and immediately those around me would experience love. It would just come pouring out. Yes, Joan, that would be an awesome superhero power. Jacob says, I'd like to be Batman and fly all over Texas. Okay, yeah, I like that. Grace says, I'd have the ability to understand kids' thoughts who are non-verbal and communicate with you. I love that. All right, thank you. Thank you so much for tuning in.